I'm not quite sure, but Denise is on the stand tonight helping out at Granite City as we're set to go. Green flag racing, it's Matthew Dibbon, 22. Dexton Cook, 78K, we go green! It's time for the green with Luther Honda. Dexton Cook, 78K with the early lead. 22, Matthew Dip. Double O of Gullickson. As the laps go by, Dave Moss works the low groove right off the hub with Shane Sabraski. Sabraski in tow as Dexton Cook continues the lead. Dave Moss going to work on Matthew Dibb, 22. They're side by side, way up on the cushion. In fact, up on the wall, working his way down, double zero X, Dan Gullickson. Gullickson in fifth with a miscue to the high side of turn three. Handles turns one and two, no problem. 78K, Dexton Cook, your leader at the halfway. Cook with four in and four to go. Dave Moss, the two car, closing the gap. Moss working the lower groove into two car links behind Dexton Cook. They're side by side in turn two. They'll drag it down the back straight. Out of the back shoot into turn three. They're side by side. Out of four, here comes Dave Moss and Dexton Cook with the two to go. Dexton Cook with the power going down the back chute right out of turn four. Here they come. Moss in two. Dexton Cook, one to go. Moss in a shootout to the finish. He gets the edge out of turn four. takes the win in T7 and we go green. Green flag out in heat two, 27. Jared Zimple gets on the binders in the base of turn two. That 26, it's time to go green with Luther Honda. On the restart, we'll try it one more time. One junior, Tim Johnson, points that car out of turn four, working his way to the flag stand, leading at the end of that first lap. Tim Johnson, 26 of Getz is next, but 19X of Dennis Zek has moved into the second spot. It's Zek with Getz in tow, 26, 27, Zimple, 2X of... Dalton Landweir. Tim Johnson about 12 car lengths in front. Good battle for two and three. Gets works the bottom side of the racetrack. Dennis Eck. 19X with a little bit extra down the straightaway as he works that car into the top two. Now with a sizable advantage over Jake Getz, 26. 27, Jared Zimple, and 2X of Dalton Land. We're halfway, we see it. It's Tim Johnson. Johnson, one junior, puts four laps down. He's still got four to go on the way to the checkers and the super stocks. Final heat race tonight for Wissota Super Stocks. Tim Johnson, one junior, 12 car lengths separating him and the second place car. It's Dennis the Menace. Zach in 19X tonight. 26 gets about the same distance between all of our cars. One through five here this evening. Flying green out. Two more times to go. Tim Johnson works his way for the white flag. He's got one final trip around Granite City Speedway this evening in the Superstocks. 
All these cars will make it to the main during our feature part of the program. Tim Johnson looks for the checkered flag, exits turn four, he's got it. One junior, your winner. 19X, Dennis Zek finishes second. Jake, one to go, sign given to the drivers. The pace truck takes a quick left and gets to safety on the infield and we're ready for green. 20 laps the distance. Jared Simple, 27Z, Dexton Cook, 78K on the front row. They're looking for green with Luther Honda. Green flag out as we turn them loose. 78K with the initial advantage. It's Dexton Cook working his way into the fourth corner at the end of one. Dexton Cook, Jake Getz, and 27, Zimple. Right here comes Shane Sebraski in 7-8. The two of Dave Moss, one junior, Tim Johnson, working the cushion out of turn number four. The three wide, almost four out of that final corner. Dave Moss working the hub right behind Shane Sebraski, makes it a three wide battle for the front spot with Dexton Cook and Jake Getz. Here they come in turn four. They're three wide. Dave Moss right behind in car two, 27Z of Jared Zimple as one junior Tim Johnson goes by. Tim Johnson moving on by. 7A, Sabraski and Getz side by side. Sabraski looks like he has the edge into turn four. He works the hub out of the fourth corner and he'll be your new leader. Sebraski now takes over the front spot. 26 gets his next. The two of Dave Moss now trying the same line as Sebraski worked his way to the front spot. Dave Moss is third. One junior, Tim Johnson. He sits fourth. Dave Moss now gets the advantage into the second spot. Jake Getz tries to take it back in 26. You can see a number of lines being used tonight on the racetrack. The Super Stocks under green since the beginning. 7A, Sabraski out front. Dave Moss, 2, 26 of Getz and 1 junior, Tim Johnson. Johnson in fourth. Dexton Cook, your initial leader. And outside, Cole Sitter in fifth. 22, Matt Dib, double OX, Dan Gullickson now moves forward a spot as Sabraski continues his quest for the checkers. Sabraski in the basement doing the job in 7A to Dave Moss. He's running in the attic. Almost too far, almost hopped the cushion. 26 gets one junior, Tim Johnson. 78K of Cook in fifth. But here comes Moss going for the race lead. He's going to go at it with Sabraski side by side. Here they come into turn four at the halfway markers. Right now, Sabraski with the edge, less than one car length. Dave Moss, too. He's got the rim shot down the back straight away. Into turn three, he's got a little advantage, but Sobraski has worked the hub all the way in 7A. Boss with the brief advantage, but where it counted at the flag stand, it was still Sobraski. Sobraski and Moss, unbelievable battle for the front spot. 26 gets in third, one junior, Tim Johnson. Got that fourth spot pretty much sewed up. Here goes Dave Moss once again, riding the rim shot down the back chute, up on the rails in turn three and into four. Sabraski works the basement, 2X. Land, we're out of action, caution out. Dave, Dave Moss took it away, but that doesn't count. We go green. We're back green with Luther Honda. Here comes Dave Moss in two. 7A, Sabraski working the basement all the way.
Zabraski, Moss, and then Kempson, 26, one junior, Tim Johnson. But look at that, double zero X. Dan Gullickson has moved his way towards the top five, working on that fourth spot. Zabraski continues the lead. Moss continues to get that advantage down the back shoot. But on the hub of three and four, Zabraski works it to the front straightaway once again. And you can see now Dave Moss has taken the lead, but not by much. Good thing we have computers to score this, because they were tight. They were tight. Dave Moss was only in the lead by two hundredths of a second. That's less than a blink of an eye. He works his way now into an advantage a little bit over Sabraski, your race leader up to that point. 7A in second. 26 gets in one junior, Tim Johnson. Moss throwing the dirt off the high side at turn one. Just about hopped the cushion. That's where he likes it. The two car working good right up on the top shelf. the two of Dave Moss. Moss, Sabraski gets in. Tim Johnson, white flag out the white number two. Dave Moss takes one to go. The final trip around town tonight for Dave Moss. Good battle for three and four going on the last lap. Checkered flags are out, up, and wave. They go down. It's Dave Moss. Moss takes the win in car two. 7A Sabraski in second. 26 Jake gets in the third spot just in front of Tim Johnson. One junior who landed himself in the top four finish. So Dave Moss, the winner tonight in the Super Stocks. He'll pull into victory lane. He is sponsored by Shaw Trucking, Loop Tech, Wheeler Dino, McKay's, Dodge, Erickson Asphalt, Elite Shock Service, Northern Maintenance Free Exteriors, and the Bradford Garage. He rolls his affordable chassis into victory lane tonight, sponsored by the Napa Know How. We'll get Dave out of the car and present him with the trophy for tonight's win in the Super Stocks. He started on the inside of row three, worked his way to the front in an incredible battle, lap after lap with Sabraski. You're defending with Soda National Champion going at it side by side with Moss. Dave takes it to the checkers just barely ahead, getting the advantage on the last couple of laps, and we'll get Dave out of the car. For the trophy presentation, you can see him hopping out. Fans, let's hear it for Dave Moss in car two.